The Lakeland region has a large number of Florida manufactured homes. There are 55 plus and all ages mobile home parks, resident owned communities, and many manufactured homes on private land. From basic to an elaborate resort, it's all here. Are you interested? Stay tuned. In this video, we will cover Florida manufactured home communities and mobile home parks located in the Lakeland area. We'll start with an overview of the area and some of the local attractions. Then I'll present examples of the land lease communities available from fancy to affordable living. We'll also look at some of the resident owned community options and homes on private land. If you have any questions or comments, just enter them below. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. Let's dig in. Lakeland is located on the western side of Polk County. It's about 33 miles over to Tampa and about 55 miles out to the beaches at Clearwater. To the east, it's about 110 miles to the beaches at Vero Beach. It's around 45 miles up Interstate 4 to the theme parks in Orlando and another 10 or so to the International Airport. Polk County has more mobile home parks than any other county in the state. Large numbers may be found in Auburndale, Davenport, Haines City, Lake Wales, Lakeland, Winter Haven, and Mulberry. The city of Lakeland encompasses an area of approximately 75 square miles. The population in 2020 was about 112,000. There are many parks and public areas. This is the Francis Langford Promenade and Hollis Garden, which also houses the Lake Mira Center Theater and Auditorium. Adjacent is one of the finest steakhouses in the country, easily rivaling the Chop House in Chicago. It's a hidden gem in the city of Lakeland. A bit pricey, but an experience you won't forget. The Detroit Tigers make their winter home in Lakeland at Publix Field in Joker Merchant Stadium. It is also the home to the Detroit minor league team, the Lakeland Flying Tigers. The RP Funding Center is nearby. I once exhibited there at an annual gathering of Canadian snowbirds. Primary, specialty, and major medical care are available at the Lakeland Regional Health Center. The center and surrounding clinics offer some of the finest facilities in the area. This is the boat launching facility at Lake Parker Park. There are many lakes in the area that provide spectacular fishing with public ramps on almost all of them. Polk County has more mobile home parks than any other county in the state. Lakeland has its share, so if the area interests you, you have to think about whittling down the choices. The two largest resort parks here are on the outskirts, but parks large to small can be found throughout the city. There's a lot that goes into choosing a community. My book provides an in-depth guide and the link is in the description below. DBPR lists 60 active land lease parks in Lakeland. The largest of these is Cypress Lakes. It covers a thousand acres and includes 36 holes of PGA Championship Golf. Shalimar Creek is the second largest community in the Lakeland area. It sits on 500 acres and has an 18 hole championship golf course boasting 6,300 yards of play. DBPR lists it as having 795 lots. The 22,000 square foot clubhouse includes a full service restaurant and lounge. Tennis and pickleball are among the many amenities here. There is a heated pool, fitness pool, and jacuzzi spa. There is even a pro shop and a bank on site. Mas Verde is a slightly smaller park at 403 lots. 
It is one of a group of seven parks adjacent to each other along Hardin Boulevard. The 10,000 square foot community center includes a fitness facility, library, game room, billiards, and a community kitchen. There is a heated pool and a jacuzzi. The Lakeland area offers very affordable lot rents and this park is a great example. There is a variety of homes here in both size and age. At the time this video was produced, they had a lifetime lot rent offer with the purchase of selected new homes. The park looked beautiful and I strongly suggest you give this one a look if you're in the market. Hickory Hills is a fully gated community with around 370 lots. Lot rents are very competitive in this park too. And they also had special offers. If I was looking in this area, this one would be in the mix. There are two pools, tennis and pickleball courts, shuffleboard, and a large clubhouse for events and community activities. The park looked immaculate and homes were intermixed single and double wide units. Beacon Terrace has a beautiful long entryway into the park. It is a community of a little less than 300 homes. The clubhouse offers swimming pool, whirlpool spa, billiards, a library, shuffleboard, and more. There are fishing opportunities and the community website says they are pet friendly. I like the unusual architecture and color scheme of the clubhouse. It seems rather Nordic. I drove around the park a bit and I noticed the homes are mostly large and quite spacious. The park was immaculate, giving it an upscale appearance. Just looking at how the homes are maintained makes me think these are folks you would want to have as neighbors. The Holiday Mobile Home Park is a medium-sized gated community with 214 lots. There is a large shuffleboard facility, heated swimming pool, and clubhouse for community activities. This park is almost exclusively single wide units, and it looks like some lots are actually used by RVs. Next door is Meadowbrook Mobile Home Park. While listed at 200 lots, it looks like they still have some lots to develop. There is a clubhouse and a swimming pool, along with some shuffleboard courts, in the middle of the facility. Across the street is another of Lakeland's hidden gems. Silver Moon Drive-In Theater, established in 1948, is the last remaining drive-in in, in Polk County. Beacon Hill Colony has 201 lots, making it a medium-sized community. It's not fancy, but the pride residents show in their homes and the community is impressive. This is old school, the way parks used to be. The homes here are a mix of single wide and double wide units, and some are quite old. But as you can see, they have been impeccably maintained, and the community is spotless. There is a clubhouse overlooking the open grassy area that divides the community. Behind the clubhouse is a small swimming pool, the shuffleboard courts, and what looks to be horseshoe pits, a classic Florida mobile home park. I happened to come across a home for sale by my friends at Four Star, so I looked up the offer. I assume it sold quickly as it was not listed when I completed this video. Some folks would prefer a nice small park at an affordable price away from the hustle and bustle. Pine Ridge Estates is just such a place. It has a clubhouse with a kitchen, poker and billiards room, card and game room, library, and it has pet friendly grounds. The homes here are a mix of double and single wide, and the yards are nicely landscaped. I'm sure most everyone here knows each other, and the challenge moving in would be to try to remember all the names. You just never know what you're gonna find in these parks. And this beauty is what I spotted at a home in Pine Ridge. Talk about a classic. Right next door to Pine Ridge is one of the two co-ops located in Lakeland. Martin Estates has about 95 homes. 
They have a clubhouse, swimming pool, and shuffleboard courts. In this type of community, the co-op owns all the land, and each resident owns a share in the co-op. There are double-wide and single-wide homes from vintage to very modern. Community pride is evident in the landscaping and the condition of the homes. It's rather amazing, given the number of mobile home parks in the Lakeland area, that more were not converted to co-ops. There are some deed-restricted manufactured home parks in Lakeland. Foxwood Lake Estates is one such community, and the facilities rival the large resorts. In this type of community, you own your own lot and pay a monthly HOA maintenance fee as your share of the common expenses for maintaining the amenities and the park. The clubhouse and pool area are absolutely beautiful. This can be the ideal arrangement for those wanting to own their own land but live in a resort community. I also hear from subscribers that want to own their own acreage. No HOA, no amenities, and no one to tell them what to do with their property. Lakeland is a great place to find such a home. Manufactured housing has been welcome in Lakeland for decades, and it seems like no matter where you go, you run into manufactured homes on private land. You can also buy a lot and put a new home purchased through a dealer on the land. Financing for manufactured homes on private land is the same as any other home mortgage or construction loan. Homes on larger parcels are common and can be purchased at much lower cost than their site-built counterparts. I hope you enjoyed our tour. There are more communities in the Lakeland area than we could fit into this one video. So look for another one in the near future. There is a link in the description for a list of communities shown today. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It really helps the channel. If you would like to see more videos on communities across Florida, just click on the link. Thanks for watching and see you next time.